Good morning, everybody. I just wanted to take some time and show you this particular problem on inscribed angles. Um, it's on the assessment tomorrow, something similar to this. So uh, the original problem is this one up here. And the goal of the problem is for you to solve for X and solve for Y. And so important idea is to remember this concept that an inscribed angle is half of the measure of the arc that it intercepts. So there's the intercepted arc. Let's say that intercepted arc is 100. Then this inscribed angle would be 50. In a problem like this, um, you're asked to find X and Y, and you've got to look at the opposite angles because um, they're going to they're going to intercept the entire circle and the entire circle is 360 degrees. So if you can look at these two angles, L and N, they're opposite of each other. If you kind of look at where they exit the circle, you can kind of think of it like this. Angle N exits the circle here and that contains that portion of the circle, which we don't know. We know it's twice of the measure of whatever the angle is, so two times this amount. And then if you look at angle L, it exits the circle here. So it, those two angles account for 360 degrees. So if I take the measure of angle L plus the angle of measure N, and I double it, it's going to equal the whole circle. Well, if that's the case, algebra says that I can take both sides and divide by 2. So the measure of angle L plus the measure of angle N is equal to 180 degrees. Then I substitute the expressions that represent the angles. So L is 10X, and N is 16Y, so I'm adding those. So 16Y plus 6. And again, that equals 180 degrees. So then I, if I could, I combine my like terms, set up an equation in standard form. So I end up simplifying this, and it becomes 10x plus 16y is equal to 174. So that's one equation that I'm going to be working with. The second equation takes into account the opposite sides going the other way. So in other words, x and m are opposite each other. And just like this circle, the angle X exits the circle and contains this arc here because it, the angles go out there and there. And then angle M contains the other portion of the circle, again, accounting for 360 degrees. We set up the two angles, angle M plus angle X doubled. Because remember, the arc is double the amount of the inscribed angle. So here are the two inscribed angles. If I double it, it equals the intercepted arc, which is the entire circle, which is 360 degrees. So again, the measure of angle M plus angle X is equal to 180. And I got 180 again by dividing both sides by 2. Then I substitute the values for each variable. So angle M is 10X minus 6. And the expression that represents angle X is 4 plus, I'm adding that, 4 plus 18Y. And again, it's equal to 180 degrees. Combine your like terms, 10x minus 2, negative 6 plus 4, plus 18y, 
is equal to 180 degrees. I'm going to add 2 on both sides to get my standard form. 10x plus 18y is equal to 182. Now I've got my second equation. Then I can rewrite those equations 10x plus 16y equals 174. Combine that with 10x plus 18y equals 182. Standard form of an equation with systems. So I'm just going to go ahead and multiply this top equation by negative 1 on both sides. That allows me to change the original equation, the purple equation, from 10x plus 16y to negative 10x minus 16y equals negative 174. So then what you can see is going to happen here, when I add the two equations, I combine them simultaneously, these two variables eliminate. Okay, The middle variables, the y values go to 2y. And then 182 minus 174 gives me a value of 8. So now my y value is equal to 4. Then I could substitute that 4 in for any y value that I see. So since there's room over here, let's just go ahead and put it in. So I have my 10x plus 18. Now I'm going to put, instead of y, I'm going to put a 4 in there. So I'm just exchanging, replacing equals 182. So this is still 10x. 18 times 4 is 72 equals 182. Subtract 72 from both sides. 10x equals 100. 10 x equals 11 my two values y value is 4 x value is 11